A pretty maid, a Protestant, was to a Catholic wed. To love all Bible truths and tales, quite early she had been bred. It sorely grieved her husband's heart that she would not comply, and join the mother church of Rome, and heretics deny. So day by day he flattered her, but still she saw no good, would ever come to bowing down to idols made of wood. The mass, the host, the miracles were made but to deceive, and transubstantiation, too, she'd never dare believe. He went to see his clergyman and told him his sad tale. My wife is an unbeliever, sir. You can perhaps prevail. For all your Romish miracles, my wife has strong aversion. To really work a miracle may lead to her conversion. The priest went with the gentleman he thought to gain a prize. He said, I will convert her, sir, and open both her eyes. So when they came into the house, the husband loudly cried, The priest has come to dine with us. He's welcome, she replied. And when at last the meal was over, the priest at once began to teach his hostess all about the sinful state of man, the greatness of our Savior's love, which Christians can't deny, to give himself a sacrifice and for our sins to die. I will return tomorrow, lass. Prepare some bread and wine. The sacramental miracle will stop your soul's decline. I'll bake the bread, the lady said. You may, he did reply. And when you've seen this miracle convinced, you'll be, say I. The priest did come accordingly, the bread and wine did bless. The lady asked, Sir, is it changed? The priest answered, Yes. It's changed from common bread and wine to truly flesh and blood. Begore, alas, this power of mine has changed it into God. So having blessed the bread and wine, to eat they did prepare. The lady said unto the priest, I warn you to take care. For half an ounce of arsenic was mixed right in the batter, but since you have its nature changed, it cannot really matter. The priest was struck real dumb. He looked as pale as death. The bread and wine fell from his hands, and he did grasp for breath. Bring me my horse, the priest cried. This is a cursed home. The lady replied, Be gone to you who shares the curse of Rome. The husband, too, he said surprised, and not a word did say. At length he spoke, My dear, he said, the priest has run away. To gulp such mummery and tripe, I'm not for sure quite able. I'll go with you, we'll renounce this Roman Catholic fable.